Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is this performer, Laureen. If you don't watch my podcast, I like to put videos I react to back to back so you guys too can react like me and say which parts of which tracks you like better and have a bit of fun with all of it. So this is two tracks of the song Tattoo. Uh, one is from Eurovision. The second one is an acoustic version, it says. Although I didn't see any acoustic instruments, I make note of that. However, they're both really good. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you ever so much. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. This is a track by Laureen. I just found out about her yesterday, actually. I was doing a Tommy Johansson track, and uh, I released his version of a track that she did. And uh, I thought that was really good. I enjoyed her. I thought she was cool. And so I saw in the comments, somebody said, she's only female to win Eurovision twice. <laughs> and this is the second song that did it. It's called Tattoo. And I'm, of course, eager to listen to it. So let's jump in together and let's see if it's as good as Euphoria, man. Let's do this. So, so far what I'm like is, oh, oh, oh. God, I'm so bad, I'm not a singer. But hopefully you guys know what that means. But she's singing so loud, and then she drops her voice to do that little, little thing. And, oh, I love it. I'll pull my finger up next time she does it, because I can't, I don't know, I can't sing. But this is cool. Take it
she's great and we're done we're almost ah, we're done i don't know i loved that i thought it was so very good i i, I already kind of said what i thought in the beginning of the, in the middle of the song with that <laughs> oh, it's early in the morning maybe i could do it better if i drank more water and waited till later today but you guys know what i mean and uh she's just got this f fantastic command of her voice and it's a very uh listenable song you know i'm still thinking of that in my head do, 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 do. and i got it going and i'm happy about that i like it so also, I mentioned in uh, Euphoria, I really liked the choreography and how different it was. And again, this time too, you know, in this particular track, she's not showboating, really. She's moving around, and the, the fingernails are funny. <laughs> They're very big fingernails. But it's mostly just a performance that when you focus on is very, very, very good. So... I think she's wonderful. <laughs> I do. I like this a lot. Now, I walked, I looked, when I, when I pulled this track up, I found that she did an acoustic version of it. And I'm going to jump into that next. And hopefully you guys want to check it out with me. Um, but she's great. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. This is a new artist to me. I'm just finding out about this wonderful singer, Laureen. And I just heard Tattoo for the first time. I listened to the Eurovision version. It was great. <laughs> I really liked it. And I had found this acoustic version. Of course, I'm eager to hear it. I love acoustic stuff. So let's give this a go. And let's see what we got. And let's compare it to the Eurovision version. If it's comparable. <laughs> let's do it.
She's so good. Right there. So I don't know about the word acoustic. It said here it's the acoustic performance, but I didn't see an acoustic instrument in the room. Maybe stripped down would be good so you can really compliment and focus on her voice solely. Uh, I don't know. I'd say that's a better way to describe it, but it's very long. <laughs> so maybe it's not. Anyhow, uh, boy, can she sing. <laughs> that's what I took from this. She just has such wonderful conviction in her voice, and yet you have that longing at the same time, and she's doing it all sitting down. <laughs> just like, just chilling. <laughs> it's so great. She has a great physique. She's quite, she must be a professional dancer. I'm intrigued on her background now that I know I like her, but uh, what a wonderful, what a, so, so very, very good. I, I loved this. I She's just such a good singer. I was just blown away. You're just you're just watching or listening and you're sitting there kind of like, whew, <laughs> wow, yo. Do you practice in the shower? Like, how are you so good at this? <laughs> I don't know. It was fantastic. So, you know, I did look and I found a uh, acoustic version of Euphoria too. And so now that I'm a fan, I'm going to jump into that one. <laughs> I'm going to give it another listen to Laureen. <laughs> I like her. Guys, thank you. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.